Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Bert the Stormtrooper and this is the home of That's Just Prime, the comprehensive Optimus Prime review series. I also review other Transformers, lots of G1 stuff, as well as Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Ghostbusters, GoBots, and pretty much any other toy that may jump out of me. I also do the occasional arcade and pinball machine videos, unboxings, blogs, challenges, and miscellaneous videos where my daughter usually makes fun of me. Those are a lot of fun. If you're new to the channel, thanks for checking me out. Please be sure to click that subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you're notified when I upload a new video. I usually upload two videos a week, sometimes more. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up and share if you like what you see. Hello and welcome, I'm Bert the Stormtrooper and today we're going to be taking a look at another high quality KO, this time G1 Wheeljack and I love this toy. Now, G1 Wheeljack was originally released in 1984 and if memory serves correctly, he retailed for approximately $10. This is not a figure I ever owned, I'm going off of memory, it's been a long time since 1984. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just trying to remember what I saw in stores. But I think it was 10 bucks. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Go down in the comments and let me know. Now, this figure here, I picked up on eBay, shipped, brand new and packaged, complete for about $50. Uh, and again, I have never owned an original G1 Wheeljack, or I never owned an original G1 Wheeljack, not as a kid. It wasn't until 2001 when I lived in Tennessee, my next door neighbor's kid was going off to college and he was cleaning out his, his room and he knew that I was in the Transformers. So he brought me a box of, of his old Transformers and in that box was this guy right here. And uh, yep, G1 Wheeljack missing everything, even the roof, which is, you know, you can find a, a, a loose G1 Wheeljack missing everything online. Usually pretty easily they'll have the roof. Uh, this one doesn't even have the roof, and I've never been able to find a roof for this guy. So, yeah, so this has been my only Wheeljack that I've ever had. I've had this guy since 2001. I've always called him the movie version Wheeljack because he's pretty much destroyed. <laughs> so there you go. So that's the only Wheeljack I've ever had. Uh, so I was very happy to find this guy. Uh, I've had very good luck so far with the with these uh, uh, re these unofficial reissues is what they call them. And uh, so far, I've had very good luck with them. The quality on them has been very good, and I've been very happy with them. So I pulled the trigger on Wheeljack because he's one that I have always wanted. Now, typically, I don't show off the box, but I do want to show this because this is hysterical. The, the box is a little damaged, and this is not the shipper's fault. This is just this, this luck that I have where I live, where all my packages look like they've been delivered by Ace Ventura. I found this package sitting at my doorstep, and it, it literally looked like somebody had kicked it. And it, it, it's just it, it's just a common thing where I live. So the the package being damaged is not the is not on the shipper. That's on my mail carriers here in this area. So there's that. Now I did want to show something very funny that I noticed while I was reading this. Let's see if I can get this to focus. So if you are on the lookout uh, for for a for a G1 Wheeljack and and somebody's giving you a really good offer or a really good deal on one. And you're wondering whether you got yourself a KO or a real thing. Here's something to look for. Function, mechanical engineer. <laughs> and uh, Wheeljack is always inverting. So there you go. <laughs> obvious, uh, obvious misspells are a good uh, indicator that it is a uh, KO. <laughs> it's not an actual Hasbro uh, figure. So there you go. I did want to show that off. That was pretty funny. Uh, that Wheeljack did come complete with his two launchers and four missiles, instruction sheet and sticker sheet. So very, very nice. And like I said, so far, I've been very happy with it. And I guess I sort of kind of have the G1 one uh, uh, figure here that I can compare with. And, uh, yeah, the only differences that I've seen cosmetically is the 539 sticker there on the door. If you can see, the one on the original is uh, considerably thicker than this new KO one. But other than that, they are uh, they're pretty identical. I mean, these bodies are identical. Mine, my original one is, you know, over the years gotten dirty and dusty and faded and all that. So the colors are a little different. But, uh, yeah identical figures pretty much all the way through very very happy and uh i've been super careful with this one because it's just been so very tight all the joints have been super tight but here he is wheeljack in his car mode and in this car mode he is approximately four and a half inches long about an inch and a half tall you know small as these g1 cars tended to be i'll come in a little closer take a little look at them 
It rolls nicely. The wheels are rubber. They are pinned on. Very, very nice. It rolls very smoothly. I love it. I just absolutely love the feel of this. I haven't been able to put it down since I got it. And for comparison, here he is with another one of the Autobot race cars. Uh, and I've also reviewed this guy here on the channel before. This is also a high quality KO or an unofficial reissue, if you want to call it that. Uh, also very happy with this figure. So there he is. And then getting another transformation, of course. It's very simple. And of course, transformation for G1 figures. Very, very simple. Oh, before I do transform him, I did want to show off. He does come with a rub symbol. It's on the back spoiler here. These back spoilers are just pegged into the back here. So they pop off very easily. They can be very easily lost. But you can rub on that. And it will change. And it will actually show the symbol underneath it, which is pretty cool that it actually has a working rub symbol. You've also got these wings in the bottom here that are just pegged in. Uh, they can also very easily get popped off. So, again, very easily lost piece. Just be aware of those. You can pop them off when you're transforming them. And if they fall off, no big deal. You just pop them right back on. So I like to start with the front of the car here and just pull that out. And then go to the back here. And then we are going to just separate the whole back of the car and just pull it away from each from itself or pull them, pull that two halves i guess away from each other just like that take the wings themselves or the spoiler pieces and you're going to turn these here and here and again there you go just pop straight off which explains why these pieces are always so easily lost and why they've been so difficult to track down replacements so there you go and then you'll take the fists here bring these up Take this piece here, turn it around. This is going to reveal the head. Before you bring the arms down, take the doors, and the doors are actually going to slide outwards like that. And once you do that, you can bring them all the way back around. And this kind of forms a little bit of a wing. This is in the instructions to do this, but it is kind of optional. A lot of people just don't even bother doing this. You can leave these in like this in robot mode, and it doesn't hinder anything. He looks just fine either way. So... But I've always liked to have the little wings in the back there. So bring those down. You can bring these down now. Separate the wings in the back. Looks like I'm going to have to back the camera up a little bit. Now we're going to separate the feet. Actually, we're going to bring the feet up first and get them right about there. And then you're going to separate these two halves of the car away from each other. And what that does, there seems to be a little known fact about Wheeljack. That actually locks the feet into place. A common complaint about Wheeljack is how he won't stand and he'll fall over. Uh, but you have to do this. You have to separate the legs. That will lock them in place and he will actually stand. So we can get them straightened out. We'll back up just a little bit. And the only thing left to do now is to bring in the missile launcher. And you can peg this in right here on this bar on the top of his shoulder and give him this missile. Now, according to the instructions, again, you can put both missile launchers on here, and I guess that looks okay. Uh, personally, you'll notice I only popped off one of the missiles, and I have the other three on the tree still, uh, just because personally, I like to display him with only one, uh, because A, in the show, in the cartoon, he only had the one missile, and even in the box art, he's only got the one missile over his right, right shoulder there. So that's just personally the way I like to display it, but you can go with whatever looks best to you or whichever way you want to do it. Do be careful with these launchers. These do have to pop onto this pin on the top of his shoulders, and they do have the infamy of breaking. So be careful popping these on and off. And there he is. There's Wheeljack in robot mode, and he's absolutely fantastic. And just real quick, I'll show you what I've had to deal with for the last, I don't know how many years now, since 2001. This is what I have had as a wheel check. So I am so very happy <laughs> to finally have a complete wheel jack. This like fresh minty looking brand new with all of his pieces. I'm just so happy to have this. And uh, yeah, he looks it, it, every bit as amazing as I have always hoped that he would. I absolutely adore him. Here in robot mode, Wheeljack is approximately four inches tall. So, you know, kind of small for the, again, original G1 cars. They were all kind of small. Here he is again with Mirage. So you can see they, they were about the same size. Uh, four, if, you know, at the top of the head, if you want to go to the wings, I guess that's almost five inches at the top of the wing there. So there you go. There's that. And there he is with Mirage one more time fantastic beautiful figure i love it so articulation wise is a good so as you saw it's mostly due to transformation so you can turn the head side, side to side and then the shoulders can rotate and of course you're going to have kibble you've got the wing in the back you've got the wing up here so you know you're going to be a little hindered 
on where you go and <laughs> pieces are going to fall. Oh, uh, boy. But there you go. And then I guess you can call that articulation. I guess you can look at his watch and see what time it is. I don't know. Fantastic, beautiful figure going all the way around. You can see the little wings back here. And again, you don't have to have these wings out. I mean, they are in the instructions. I personally like these out. But you can just leave them off to the side. And, and the figure looks, aesthetically, there's no change. He looks exactly the same uh, when you're looking at him from the front. So, in fact, why don't we do for demonstration. Even though this one doesn't have the windshield, you'll probably be able to see them. But there you go. See, there's really not much of a difference. So you can leave them in if you want. And uh, what else did I want to show? Oh, yeah. The launcher does have a spring. And it will shoot it off. Uh, it will shoot off, shoot off the little missile. So do be careful not to lose these. And, of course, it's not very <laughs> it's not very powerful. It even says in the instructions. I remember seeing something in the instructions that said the, there is a spring. Um, but it is not meant to shoot far, if at all. <laughs> which I found interesting. There he is. G1 Wheeljack. Again, these these um, unofficial reissues slash high-quality KOs. Absolutely adore these. This has been a great way for me to fill some holes in my collection on figures that I've always wanted. And I am just absolutely ecstatic with them. I've been very, very happy with them. So I think that about does it for G1 unofficial release or unofficial reissue. G1 Wheeljack. What did you think of this figure, and do you have a suggestion for something you'd like to see me review in the future? Let me know by leaving me a comment, give me some thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you're notified of when I make a new video. Please share with your friends if you like what you see, and I'll talk to you next time.